What is up back here with another YouTube video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky weird wrestling world as you can tell by the title below this one will be uh, my honest thoughts on uh, Duke Hudson would love to know what your thoughts are on him down in the comments below while you are down there feel free to hit the like subscribe turn on post notification of course you don't have to if you don't want to but it would mean a lot to myself if you did and when it comes to Duke Hudson I mean this in a good way but I thought he was younger career and age-wise in a way that uh, he actually is. He was born in a couple of days after what would have been my birthday if we were born in the same year. But February 2000, or 1990, making him 33 years old, 34 this coming February uh, and whatnot. And I figured like, yeah, he's like 31, 32. So him being a little bit or older, not necessarily surprising, but him wrestling since May 2008, a long time ago, 15 years by my not so good math kind of deal, 15 and a half years. I don't mean this in a bad way, but I figured that his career, he would have started instead of starting at 18, he would have started at like 22 kind of deal. So 2012 instead of 08. And I mean that in a good way. Uh, and whatnot. Loads and loads of experience, just didn't think it was that much. And I know that the Australian New Zealand independent scene wasn't what it is nowadays, in the sense of nowadays there's quite a few wrestlers hailing from Australia and or New Zealand, him being one of them. Uh, but yeah, uh, I personally really like him. Again, not necessarily the most familiar with his work. Again, uh, he started in 2008, didn't know who he was until like 2020, 2021, a couple of years after his um, NXT uh, signing in, or WWE signing I should say, in February 2019. I remember that he had a couple of matches on Raw right where, when the world caught fire, like behind closed doors with, I think it was Shane Thorne. I could be wrong about that. It was like, again, like WrestleMania Monday kind of deal. And he wasn't uh, Duke Hudson. He was another name I don't remember. Uh, he was with MVP kind of deal in, again, April, May uh, of 2020. Left TV for X, Y, or Z reasoning. Uh, debuted the Duke Hudson thing in uh, July 2021, and that's when I first heard of him. And for, uh, I mean this in a good way, but a big guy, I think he's like, I might be wrong, but like 6'5", like 240, two, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, about 250 pounds of goodness me. He's a good looking fellow uh kind of deal like he's good in the ring him on the mic take him or leave him for myself personally not necessarily bad in the ring not necessarily or bad on the mic i should say not necessarily over uh one of the better ones but he can definitely hold his own like i mentioned in the ring and on the mic but he is one of those guys for myself personally if i was watching one of his matches in nxt would i go have a bathroom break no, would I go grab something to eat? Highly doubtful, but if I seen that he hypothetically had a match on SmackDown, I also would not go out of my way to watch it. Again, nothing against Duke Hudson. I think he his role could be better in NXT. I could definitely... I, I don't know what his potential or what his ceiling is on the main roster, but when, he, when it comes to NXT, I can definitely see him being something similar to what Baron Corbin has been doing over the last year or so, like upper mid-card, like Baron Corbin, upper mid-card bad guy, Duke Hudson just based off of his career, again, good in the ring, upper mid-card good guy to help the younger uh, wrestlers kind of transition from the mid-card level to the main event uh, level kind of scene kind of deal, strictly based off of he's good in the ring and he has a decade and a half plus of experience but again it's one of those things that even though I'm not necessarily the biggest fan or supporter or mark whatever terminology you would want to use I'm not that towards 
uh, Duke Hudson, but I can, especially if you're from, like, Australia, New Zealand, why he would be uh, one of your guys, one of your, I don't know if inspiration is the right word, but, like, hey, he's from this part of Australia, so am I, he made it to WWE, why can I not? Uh, as well. Kind of inspiration. But yeah, I don't know for sure what his ceiling is, but I do like him in the ring. Him on the mic, again, not necessarily one of my favorites, but he definitely holds his own. But yeah, that is it for this one. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. Lying to myself, yeah Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die I feel like I'm just lying to myself But it's